I went to marriage committee. You understand now? <laughs> you can't know me and some marriage committee for one year. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years. Is this seven years? Yes, seven years. Seven years. Seven years. From, from 2011 to 2021 is what? It's 10 years. Wait, 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 wait. I was, I was on an usher during that program. Hallelujah! I went close to Anna, like, why are you not talking? As a concerned usher, you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was cheating on my mind. Do you understand? So I was not really thinking of marriage then, and I was very young, like so young. So I was thinking, I've never loved anybody the way I loved her. <laughs> <laughs> one day she called me and like don't ever talk to me again this um i begged and then she was like hey she don't want to hear anything and i should not call her line again you know what yes and you were with me uh-uh. yes oh, and they, 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 the lord must have blessed you with long suffering hallelujah <laughs> no we started talking once a day but once a day it became twice a day like <laughs> okay um um thank you very much <laughs> So um, the story is not um, different. It's quite. It's, it's kind of the same. But the truth is, when we stopped talking, the two years that we stopped talking, when we started talking again, it was when he called me. Like he said, it was me telling him more about my own relationship than I was and how it was going and everything was just not working. You know, he kept. In fact, he was even encouraging me. <laughs> like. <laughs> Okay, one of the challenges I had then was that the person I was supposed to marry in 2019, I, I've been in Lagos for like three years now, hmm. but the person then was not in Lagos. And we're planning to get married and we're like, we're going to be in a different place. When he called me in that 2019, I was telling him about it. And he was like, there's nothing God cannot do. Was she advising me on that whole relationship thing you, you get? That he gave me a testimony of a friend that, they got married. They were in different locations, but God brought them to the same location. I was like, okay, no problem. Well, we got, we have it. The relationship did not work. Something mm. happened. Something very terrible happened that, mm. that I, I broke up in December 2019. So that was it. I was trying to heal, like, from the breakup. A lot, generally. Like, I was just, like, trying what, to make permit, permit me to ask you, what happened in 2017 that made you ask him not to call you ever? <laughs> he knows what happened. I don't know. I don't know if you want to share it, but, but you know, so, so I'm trying to um, put a little bit of context here now. Like, when a lady just wakes up and then gives a man a warning like don't you ever call my line again it must be serious like it must be serious what happened was what happened was that actually i actually found out or i heard that he was in a relationship with someone (laughs) you understand so and uh, i got to know about it and the truth is we've been friends and he never mentioned it so So why were you wait 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 wait. auntie prudence be coming down wait (laughs) you (laughs) Thank God you even spoke about it. Wait, though, wait. Mr. Mr. Shedrack, wait. So you heard that he was in a relationship with somebody and you probably felt like, ah, we've been friends. Why didn't you mention it to me? Why did I have to go and hear from somebody else? Was that it? Yes, yes. That was and you were question. very, like, he pained you. That can, that's in the pain, shall you pay? I, I can relate. He pained the entire your body. You not said he should, ne- should not call you again. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that was what happened. That was really what happened. That means so, somehow, 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 you must have loved this man because you're like, yes. how can you wait, well, 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 to be very <laughs> honest, like, to be very honest, like, why we were in school, I liked him, like, okay, like is not a word, okay, yeah. I loved him, but at some point, I he, he left, like, I was not just the truth is, I felt distance affected the call me him you understand i'm someone that i do better with a relationship that is close oh I see. yes yes if i'm in a relationship i would prefer that my spouse is like probably in the same location with me it helps me better i, I really don't function very well with a distant relationship so when we stopped talking or when i think after school like i was just not into him anymore like we're just i don't know how there, to do just there you know, we're just there. And even when he tries to call me, like, I was really not even most times involved in the conversation. Sometimes I would not even peek. I know he did not mention that part. I would not even peek. Even when, when he's talking to me, 
it's just like a one word a, a one word kind of answer you know that kind of thing so that was how it went you understand so in 2019 in december when i had my breakup it was so much devastating for me i was just trying to pick mm. up the pieces of my life and you know like i was like asking god like why is all this happening like i don't know how to put it that, that was like one of the breakups like i've really had a lot like in my small life hey, i've really had a lot this, wait, wait, wait. are you saying this fragile heart of yours has been broken plenty times <laughs> hey. you don't understand you don't understand and you know the truth is i get these vibes like um you're so beautiful so what's up like you know people don't really understand mm-hmm. what's going on around me i mm-hmm. feel well to be very honest i feel those things that were happening around me was maybe because i was just adamant on my own because i remembered even before i entered that relationship in 2019 there was one day i was at home i traveled home and you know he actually was just um, impressed in my heart that he was my husband as at that um when i was before 2019 before i entered that relationship but you know i actually killed that spirit because i was like we can the same year, like uh, he will have to husband as he's always ready for marriage, you know. I mean, I'm ready for marriage. I'm like, so why would he why would God say he's my husband? Like hmm. he's not ready. So I, I don't how do you know he's not ready? Like ah. I don't know. It was just it was just my human knowledge and my human thinking hmm. that just said that he's not ready, and that's that was how I killed that was how I killed that voice and decided to go on the relationship. Do you understand? Mm. So at the end of the day, that relationship broke. It was so, it was just so, like, I don't know how to put it. 2020 was one of a year that ah, I cannot even understand. But then we started talking, like we started talking, you know, but the truth is the talk was not, the, the our conversation was not so smooth. It was not even as though we're friends. In fact, it was more of him trying to woo me back like just get me back to being his friend and me on my own I already had the mindset and my mindset was that even if i thought i was going to go into any relationship or do anything marriage mm-hmm. it won't be distance like i have tried distance it didn't work so it was totally a turn off for both of us because he was not in lagos he was based in enugu so he was the one doing all the trying to call me try to you know out me and my own my mind was not even there do you understand? Do I was still praying seriously about marriage? Hmm. I still joined the NSPPD. Like I will share the link with him. Like okay, let's be praying. But the oh, truth God. is, pray <laughs> 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 warrior. <laughs> I was not even considering him. I wasn't considering uh-huh. him. He went to marriage committee in 2020. They invited me in Lagos, you know. But in fact, I reluctantly. I mean, I reluctantly went for the test. Like. My, one of my friends came around to my house then and she was like, okay, let's go. We went, I went for the text. But after doing the test, do you know that we didn't go back to marriage committee? He went to marriage committee last year, May, I'm not mistaken. And after I did that test, like we did the test, the result came out, you know, the next step was supposed to be parental consent. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. consent. But because some questions I was asking God, I was not settled, like especially location. So, I didn't go back to marriage committee. That was how I just stopped. But he then, you know, he kept calling, like kept calling. Then I traveled home in December. He came to my, my I went to my parents' house and he came to my Delta State. My parents are in Delta State. He came to Delta State to see me. Like we went out and, you know, he was just telling me about the whole marriage thing. Like he's ready to settle down. Like, you know, New Year's, that's 2021. It's about mm-hmm. to start. So what's the mm-hmm. plan? Like, am I not ready to get married? That okay, since that we started this marriage committee, that I've not gone back. That was the problem. Well, I, I, I shared my fears to him. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. I shared my fears to him. I told him that, see, I want to get married, but you see this distance thing. You cannot, like, okay, I cannot cope. <laughs> and the truth is that I like Lagos. I know some many people have, um, how do I put it? Um, different notion about lagos and lagos mm-hmm. is stressful but the truth is we go we have it like lagos has favored me like mm-hmm. i have to be very honest with you like mm-hmm. like i got something doing in lagos and i and i like my job my job is not so stressful like mm-hmm. that i don't i don't walk around the clock like i'm not this eight to five kind of work you mm-hmm. know that's not what i do so 
I already found my base and my roots in Lagos. So I really wanted my husband to be in Lagos. That was one thing I was praying to God about. So fast forward to January this year, you know, he called me and was like, okay, it's a new year, babe. What's up? Are we not going to get married again? I'm like, <laughs> I, but I, I don't, I don't wish to answer that question. I would just, I would just, you know, intelligently just wave the question. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> you understand. <laughs> so in February, in February, I now told him that. See that if you January know, ending. sorry, January. Ending. And we also come to Lagos, and we just we just forget about like it's not we just forget about this whole, you know, relationship thing. Do you understand? So miraculously, we got to have this. My husband now got something to do in Lagos. So he moved to Lagos. <laughs> this is how sweet God can be. Wow. My dear, you wow. that. So he moved to Lagos. He moved to Lagos in February. But you know, when he now moved to Lagos, he, we didn't really now start. So we didn't start the marriage committee immediately. Like when he moved to Lagos, like do so. He was not like every new month. He would tell me, he would send me a message. Now a new month, like how far? <laughs> how far? Every <laughs> now, I'm now in Lagos. Shall we live? I'm not in Lagos. You know that kind of thing. But the truth is, um, we really started like we got serious like um six months ago, like. And you know that to be very honest, like God was faithful, like each step mm. on the way. Everything worked out smoothly with the whole marriage committee process. Everything was smooth. Like, every, you know, people used to have this notion that marriage committee is difficult. Mm-hmm. You, know, mm-hmm. you, know, you know, we had this favor, like, on mm. a common favor from hey. God. Mm. And even the way our wedding trended, like, I did not see it coming. Like, we did not, it wasn't in our imagination to see that this whole wedding. That we, you know, we actually planned a small wedding, like you know, we had this plan of okay, let's just do it in a slow, small, and lucky way. But at the end of the day, God, the way God elevated everything and everything mm-hmm. was so perfect. Oh my God. And the truth is, like I said, at some point, I didn't really have this love for my husband. But you know, before we got married, the love just came back. Like I so much love him. And the truth is, he loved me so much. Hey. I can't even imagine. Oh, like, he's so amazing. Oh. Like, this love so must go around us. Oh, <laughs> this, oh, <my> <laughs> this love will go around. Wow. Jesus. Do you know that, to be very honest, for I feel like for everything that has happened in my life, like, my husband was just enough. Like, Hmm. Jesus, I don't know how to put the way he treats me. Don't make Jesus. me cry. Don't make me cry. Like, oh Somebody pass me and catch you. I'm, I'm living my life. I'm so comfortable. Like, if I, I have zero worries, if there's anything like that. Yeah. When I mean absolutely zero worries, when it comes to my matter, it's just always there. When I mean always there. Oh my, my God. My head is so there. <laughs> I so much thank God that I did not miss, like, I didn't miss mm. him. Like, I don't think that there would have been any other person that would have loved me or appreciated me the way. Oh my God, the way he does. It's not because he's here. Do you understand? Like, oh my God. Yeah, you're, make, so you're making me emotional. Let me drink. <laughs> Let me drink juice. He's so, so amazing. The love is, like, he's very genuine. And if there's one person in my life that's been very patient, it's him. Hmm. Like, the patience that he has, like, I don't think it's, it's obvious. Ever, I, I've, like, told him, I've told him that God, God gave him the spirit of long suffering. Like, his patience oh God. is from God. That, <laughs> he never gave up. Like, even at the point where, because the truth is, I know I stressed him a lot. Mm-hmm. Like I know that if, if not because of me, I'm sure that would be married long, long ago. Because ah, Jesus, he was so patient. He stepped on the way. Like there are times where when, when we got married, it was just telling me that I wanted to give up. Do you know, even the people around him helped a lot, his pastors. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know how to put it. The truth is, even when he came to Lagos, when he came to when he came to Lagos in February, 
before he came, you know, because of this whole distance thing, I was already considering somebody like a friend that was around me, like I was going to marry that person. And when he came in that February, in fact, I did not even see him that I didn't even see him. It was after like let's say two weeks, he came around. And the truth is, I'm someone that I'm very open. I don't used to hide, but like especially when it comes to my relationship, things around me. It's fact, I was just telling him, I just told him everything. And do you know that? He said when he was leaving, he was crying. Like, he cried. He told uh-huh. me. I just uh-huh. didn't cry. Yeah, she had to like, told you. Pastor, <laughs> I told his pastor that, uh, say she said, okay, that God should bring him to Lagos. God has brought him to Lagos. Now, he came now. That he's not in Lagos. Now, me, I'm already considering getting married to somebody else. Uh-huh. But, you know, you know that the pastor uh-huh. still encouraged him and told him that everything will be fine and well. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. My husband did not give up. And when it was time for us to start our marriage process, Everything went on smoothly. And today, my husband and wife. Oh my hey! God. Okay. <laughs> church! Church time for offering. Offering time! <laughs> oh my God. I won't lie. I won't lie. That was so emotional. Like, you were, everything you said was from your heart. And I, I told my head, I'm feeling things in my head because my head is even sweating. <laughs> <laughs> wow thank you so much wow that was awesome. ah, mary calm down this love is <laughs> everybody is going to be loved uh-uh, this is sweet okay now let's talk about so we've talked about the you know very sweet part the interesting part of it let's talk about how how you both were able to um Work around your differences, or did you have differences? Uh, take for instance, you know, when people are in courtship or when they're in a relationship and all that, you know, they begin to notice some things about each other, and you're like, oh, you know what? I don't think I can marry you because of this particular thing, or because of these differences that we just cannot resolve. How how did you um, go around that particular part? Or is it that you people didn't even have any challenges at all? No problem. You people are just sweet people. They are just fine like that, and everything is just what it is. Let's let's, let's hear that part. Was there was there any serious difference? Like I I I can't really remember having any very serious difference. Um, it's just like I don't know. Maybe. Um, God packaged all the struggle during the wing part. <laughs> Our courtship was like, see, the courtship was like, effectively, it was like three months. Mm. We did not long courtship thing, you know. We, we, when we started courting, we went back after two months, no, one month and three weeks to tell marriage committee that I want to marry. Ah. And they agreed. I was like, anything we tell them, they just say yes. Uh-uh. Like, <laughs> like, your, your prayers are working. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we had grace <laughs> in our mouth. Yeah. So, so, you know, things like um, how many kids you want to have, money management. It was like it, all those discussions, like how many kids you want to have, mm-hmm. um, career, finance, ma- um, money management. It was like we are wired the same way. Hmm. You get? Like, Neil, before ever discussing with her, I've always had this mindset that I'm going to have two kids, hmm. a boy and a girl. That's what has always been on my mind. And when we got talking, one day she just like, Ah, she is only two kids that she wants to have. Bro. I was uh-huh. like, ah. uh-huh. <laughs> we, are in, we are in the same shoe. Hmm. You get, we are in the same shoe. And I just knew that that part is set to. Hmm. And then, it's not, uh, how do I put this now? I have always wanted to marry somebody that is medically inclined. Hmm. Either a nurse or a doctor, why? The reason is because I had intention, like, in the future, I want to invest in pharmacy, like, community pharmacy, you know? Mm-hmm. So I was, I actually needed somebody to help me fulfill that dream. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the worst, the, okay, the amazing thing is, like, she's, she's here. Her job has to be with all these um, drugs things. 
Mm. You get? Mm. Yeah, she worked with a pharmaceutical company mm. and then she equally had intention to invest in community pharmacy. So ah, ah. everything so, is just everything is just cementing so into that. Is hey! is this God you not get? faithful? So wow. there was there was actually zero differences. I would not say we did not quarrel. We quarrel though. You know, mm. small, small quarrel. Like, well, what were the things causing your quarrel? What, what are the things causing Okay, you? let me say, let me say what was causing our quarrel. Well, let's say, um, how would I put it? Like, let's say, let me give an example. Like, differences in idea. Like, sometimes my husband, I don't know, sometimes, like, okay, you know, like, he just came to Lagos and he's not really familiar with the roads. So sometimes, even I tell him, like, okay, let's take care. He wants to just want to try out his own idea. He's just like, okay. you know how Lagos is? When you miss a road, or more, you are doomed. You are kind of very angry. I said, there was one day we went to Bagada, like we went to headquarters for okay. fellowship church. So they, they, you know, they work. I don't know. If you, you've, I don't know how long you've left Lagos. And by now, I've seen. I've Not been so your long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they, they're working on the Bagada road. I'm like, babe, park here. He said, no, that we've been parking in. This is that let's park in a different place ah! this is the road that would be easier for us to link like babe let's park here so that we can easily navigate um third milan bridge as we're going back home <laughs> it was like oh, we've always been parking here let's try a different route you understand so that we tried the different route and after we were going we was not asking me that we were, we were going to pass i'm like <laughs> yes. you understand that kind of <laughs> i lost kind of question i was just <laughs> <laughs> so do you know that kind of thing that was mm. like okay they're planning for the wedding too like okay ideas of what color of you know cards all those kind of things and hair chakra like we had misunderstanding but not really any really strong misunderstanding that we could not resolve. Do you understand? So, of course, as we face with yeah, yeah. resolvable differences. I mean, and these things are yeah. normal. I mean, people are ideas are going to clash and all that. Now, let's talk about the wedding, right? Um, okay. Your wedding trended. That's the truth. And I think one of the reasons it trended is because you, you both are just so beautiful. Like, you both are really beautiful. I won't lie. Oh, and. and your pictures, no, innovative. Everybody knows innovative is my man now. My ma, innovative photography is always doing the most. So when yeah. the pictures were coming out, I'm like, who, who are these beautiful people? The pan life couple, are you serious? Are you sure? You know, people, I mean, I shared the picture and people would be like, me, we did me with these people in the pan life in my mind. I'm like, you people should be coming. Are you saying we don't have beautiful people in our church? What's the meaning of that? What's that? Are you saying these people are too fine to read? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the pictures were so beautiful. Your wedding is so beautiful. How were you able to um pull up that kind of wedding, right? I don't know how big the wedding was. I don't know if it was just a picture we were seeing, or did you have a budget, right? Did you have did you have to selectively, you know, pick out your costumes, you know, the dresses and all that? How long did you even have to prepare for your wedding? Maybe that's the right question to ask. And did you have people, you know, you put in place in charge of everything? Because the pictures we were seeing on the internet, it just looked like ah ah, this is a fairy tale wedding. So beautiful. It was so beautiful. How did you go around all those stuff? Well, like I was saying, I said to my husband, like, immediately after we did our parental concert and he was like, we started courtship, he was like, we really need to start planning, officially planning the wedding, mm. that he doesn't want any stress, he doesn't want to run, like, we you know, this kind of heta skater kind of mm. rush. So we, we, we started quite on time, right, like, quite on time. Mm. And the truth is, he, he likes this, like, when he's doing something, like, he likes the best. You understand? Mm. So, I, I mean, so, you know, trust me, I like fine things. And yeah, I like you are fine. Why would you like fine things? I really should come out fine and nice. So, when it came to the preparation in proper, in proper, he told me he had um, someone that makes suit. I, like, I was like, babe, are you really sure that this suit will come out nice? I was like, don't worry, don't worry. Trust me. It's going to come out nice. I was like, okay, no problem, babe. Okay, we can use the person that you said, okay, can make 
the suits very well. So then I stumbled into a wedding picture. Like it, I, what my friend actually did best man for them. And I liked the dress mm. that the lady was wearing and the body was in a badon. I was like, okay, I would like, I would like this person. I would like to meet the person that made this dress. So I got, my husband helped me get the contact. I spoke with the lady. Though initially she was so, like she was so busy. Like she was not giving me the attention. I was kind of discouraged, but I was just like patient enough. So we, we finally spoke and we met. She was in, she's, she's in Lagos too. When I met her, she was like, okay, that she likes her brides to come out differently. That's like even if I, I like this kind of dress. Right? Of so food delight. Yes, Tolo, yes. Ah, yes, so, so food delight. Like, Tolo, Tolo is my big sister. Shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so she said she likes her bride to come out differently okay so we had to modify the style so it was not mm-hmm. looking like entirely what i brought for her and she did a very good job for the dress imagine when i wore the dress dress i was like oh my god this is so fine you know it was so fun i loved the dress you understand it was so fine so that was it for the dress then for the traditional attire they, i actually found a tailor in lagos too that does my clothes wow. before the wedding and she does very well too wow. omar stitches okay she's not a deeper life actually right. so she did my trad attire so she she did well too i would know? i wouldn't That's mind her. if i wouldn't mind if you if you don't mind i could get the details of you know these people and maybe just insert it you know somewhere around the video we can just do shout out to them. okay I mean, no problem no problem but I'll send. I'll send. I'll, send, I'll, message, I'll send the message as regards that Great. to you. Great. Okay. Great. So she she made my trad my traditional attire, you know, and that was it. okay. So how were we able to come up with our videos, like our pictures that trended? The plan was that um we lodged in a hotel when we got to the outer state. Lodged in a hotel, and you know, innovative we were there as well. Mm. So for the traditional day, like we actually took the traditional pictures our traditional wedding pictures on the day of our traditional marriage you know traditional marriage was in the afternoon so in the morning we took our pictures and oh. I, I was even surprised like she was able to edit it and the picture came out Asha, that no, like, no, no, in- innovative <laughs> innovative is very prompt no 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 she's very she was so prompt like i didn't even see it coming like i didn't see it coming when i saw the pictures i'm like wow right this is great you know wow i'm so i'm so happy like i mean listening to you I, let me tell you one thing um that keeps coming to my mind as i hear you tell that story i mean the very first part of this you know where mr shedrach you know began to say you know a voice told me even as far back you know in you know 2014 2017 and all that the truth is, no matter how you see it, or you, no matter how um, anyone paints it, God still speaks to his children. And I think one thing people should be learning from this is how in tuned we are to the voice of the spirit. Like when, when a voice ministers to you and you know that this one is the voice of God, the, your ability to now decode and know specifically that, okay, this is a message for me at this time, I think is very instructive. Not everyone is going to dream dreams. Not everyone is going to, you know, be be tapped. Not everyone is going to fall down in a church anointing and all that. But your ability to, to hear when the Spirit of God is ministering to you and telling you something, your ability to hear is very, very key. And I think that's my takeaway from this session. And it's very instructive, very, very instructive for me and for anybody who's going to be watching it. So we are gradually bringing this to a close. Um, th- that, let me, what's your word of advice for single guys uh, or single ladies? Uh-huh, another thing I wanted to say, you, people will not hear this one now, but I'm going to re-emphasize it. So uh, Mr. Shedrach said something. He said, okay, so all throughout the time where you know, the both of them were apart, he went to also, like he went to work. And he, he worked to the point he was now ready to say, I'm ready to get married. I think another thing that maybe a lot of young people may be missing is that they are just jumping. Like, you know, you are not ready to marry. You know, you cannot successfully, you know, even feed yourself or finance yourself. You want to bring another woman to come and be in the marriage with you. How do you people do these things? Like, these are valid examples. So you people should be hearing what now. You people should be, go and also and have money, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm serious. No, 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 I'm serious because I'm, 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 I'm saying this because I've seen cases, even in our church, right? I've, I've heard stories where they, you will not hear, oh, I'm married and then we are sleeping on the floor. Please, nobody should come for me for this. I'm not saying don't marry and sleep on the floor with your husband. This is love, but please, not everyone is really called for that kind of life and not everyone really wants to hear love that kind of story, okay? So if, if, if you can work and be financially stable, be okay. We're not saying go and, you know, have all the millions in the world, but be okay, be okay. I mean, be okay. Take an example. Take a cue from these people. Be okay and look fine. Okay? Okay. <laughs> all right. So what, what's going to be your word of advice for single people? Let me, let me, Mr. Shedra, what's your advice? All right, for or me, single honestly. guys. Please advise no, the guys. guys. Advise the guys. <laughs> For single guys, I would say just two things. See, marry your friend. Mm. After all the prayers mm. and all the uh, 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 prayers with your eyes open, <laughs> marry your friend. You know, people know me as this very serious guy, very serious brother, you know, very gym gym. Well, you know, this lady here is bringing out the other part of me, the, hey! the romantic. Ah! We are best of friends right now, you know. I feel free to play with her, like you know. So marry your friends, your friend, and pray that God will lead you, like God still speaks to his children. Mm. You get um there's a part of the bible that says there's a spirit in man mm. and the inspiration of the almighty mm. give it them understanding mm. you know god on inspires his children and if you listen to him i'm very sure he wouldn't lead you astray even if sometimes when he speak it's not it doesn't make sense mm. but if you will be patient with it will finally make sense you know She's everything I've ever prayed for and hoped for, and like I don't know how to explain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Okay, over to you, Mrs. Shedra. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so wait, so, so wait. Advice. You brought out wait. You brought out the romantic side of your husband. How did you do that? Now you didn't even just us that part. So you just want us to pass. <laughs> okay. 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 Can I, wait. Can I explain? <laughs> Let me just use this example. Mm. No. Um. How do I put it now? She's she's my follow com. So, and you know, when you want something about yeah. your phone, you say, you go and buy follow call. Go and right. If you don't buy follow call, it's not function well. <laughs> so, I've not been functioning well since my follow call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you said, how did I bring out the romantic part of him? Mm-hmm. Like, um... <laughs> I usually we like we play we play a lot like we're friends and another thing I I know I like pictures I make him now like pictures and video so now yeah. well, now there's when I'm making videos like okay I also want to join not to make videos yeah. so I'm making, I'm making yeah. videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and spice up. Thank you. Okay, yeah. so advice. 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 My advice to single ladies out there. Um, the truth is, marriage is interesting. I know I'm pretty very young in marriage, like like give so much advice on marriage, but marriage is interesting when you marry your friend. And when God is speaking to mm. you, please, I I I beg of you, just listen to God. Like God, the truth is, from my little experience, I feel I've learned that. God, what God gives is the best. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I did God's will in marriage. Like, I'm so happy. In fact, even my siblings, they can't even testify to it. So, mm-hmm. I'm advising, I'm admonishing everyone here that when God speaks, listen and also marry your friend. Like, it's very important, you know. <laughs> 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 
Someone you can share with, it's like everything, and like you will not be afraid that okay, when I say this, mm. I will give you yeah, that kind of thing. You know. Thank you. Do you do you want to kiss him? I don't understand. Why are you, why are you doing this? <laughs> I have warned my people that if you are single, so stupid, and you come to watch this video, don't say Mary has brought me and my husband. Okay. <laughs> you. <laughs> You can see these people. Thank you so much. So we are we are ending now. We are just going to play a, a simple game. I'm just going to ask you one or two questions. If the answer is your husband, point to your husband. If the answer is your wife, point to your wife. So, <laughs> who is the first to apologize in a fight? Who is the first to apologize? Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> who is a better dresser who is a better dresser uh, <laughs> you are the one we give you that okay so who is more spiritual who is more spiritual uh uh-uh, uh fire fire brand <laughs> i can't even forget uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, brother. Okay. Um, who saves money more? Who saves money more? Who saves money more? You, right? <laughs> it took your, it took your oh, husband no. a while. <laughs> you give it to her. You give it to her. Correct. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Oko, it was so nice hanging out with you. I'll let you people hug. I'll let you both hug yourself as we end this. I'll let you people hug yourself. I'll let you people kiss yourself. Anybody that wants to go and be hugging camera, she walk. Out. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye.